Hey guys, this is John Cornell, and I'm here with this uh, month's uh, Dev Drop, May 2021. So I've decided to do things a little bit differently. This Dev Drop is going to be a little bit uh, shorter and broken up into three videos rather than one big long Dev Drop. And the topic of this month's Dev Drop is about our platform API rate limiting. And I know the first thing that you're probably thinking of is why the heck are we talking about rate limiting? I thought there were no limits in the cloud. It's ultimately scalable. But the reality is, is that every cloud provider has rate limits. And sooner or later, as you're working with a cloud provider, um, you will run into these rate limits. Now, for the Genesis Cloud Platform API, our rate limits are tied specifically to our OAuth clients. We allow 300 calls per minute per OAuth client token. And in most applications, we consider one OAuth client token to one OAuth client the appropriate range for what you need. So um, you might ask yourself, well, why, why are we talking about this? Why does Genesis have rate limits? I think first and foremost, our rate limiting policy is not about trying to punish people who are using our public API. Uh, we do not take a, a usage-based approach and then charge you for each API invocation that you're using. We don't try to uh, monetize uh, our APIs, even though we might in the future, but right now we're not even close to doing that. Instead, we take more of a fair, uh, a fair usage uh, approach. Uh, with each license that uh, you have, or depending on the license you have, there's a bucket of API calls that you can make. And that bucket is a total number per month. And then we have our 300 calls um, per minute that we enforce for just general API calls. Now, most people, when they run into a, uh, one of our platform API rate limits, the first thing they're going to see is they're going to get a 429 error back. And they're going to be the natural reaction is, why am I getting this? Uh, can't you raise my rate up? I really, really need this. Um, or they're going to be like, well, you just got done telling me that I can uh, I get 300 calls per minute per OAuth client token. I know I can have multiple OAuth client tokens, and each OAuth client token can have no, I think it's up to 10 tokens individually associated with them. So I'll just work around that. Let me tell you why that's a really, really bad idea. Our platform API acts as essentially an API gateway and it's a hard outer shell that basically provides a layer of protection to the overall platform and to our internal microservices. Many of our internal microservices within Genesis Cloud have their own rate limits. And unlike the platform API, which operates at an OAuth client level, those rate limits internally can operate as an organizational rate limit. Uh, organizational rate limit, and what that means is if you manipulate or bypass our 300 calls per minute, you can end up hitting an organizational rate limit and basically taking down your entire call center, because now regardless of the OAuth client you're using, you're being rate limited. So uh, I always tell people. Use our rate limits. If we're rate limiting, it's a hygienic signal to say you're not doing something right with our API. And there's a lot of techniques that we have out there for dealing with rate limits. Some of our later videos are going to cover this. So here's a couple of things that you need to know about our rate limit. Is first, all of our platform API rate limits come in with a 429 status code, and we include an HTTP header in the response that's called retry dash after. The value of that header is going to be the number of seconds you need to wait before you make another API call with that OAuth client token. And uh, a little bit of a pro tip, listen to that. Because if you don't, the amount of time that is going to, you're going to have to wait is going to continually be extended out with each additional API call. And you'll essentially denial of service attack yourself uh, with uh, just calling and ignoring that retry after. So what I tell people is respect that retry after and really look at our rate limiting documentation. So I'm going to go ahead and share our screen right now. I'm going to walk through three docs uh, real quick that provide some additional context and information. So the first doc that we're going to look at is just our general platform API rate limits. And so if you come to the developer center, go to APIs, go to platform API, and then go to rate limits, this basically covers exactly what I was just telling you around our platform API. It talks about what a 429 rate limit is. It talks about our retry after policy, the best practices for retry. Now we have some other uh, retriable errors within Genesis Cloud, our 502, 503, 504 that don't have a retry after header on them. 
But then we also walk through and kind of go through what are some good ideas for how to do an exponential back off policy to let you retry safely. Now, um, the other rate limiting document I want to take a look at you doesn't have to do with the platform API per se, but there are more rate limits associated with the overall Genesis Cloud product. So if you go out to API, platform API, and I'm warning you now, this is a little bit convoluted. You go to API resources and you go to organization. There is a limits document out there that documents all the other rate limits that we have in the platform on both resources uh, and calls that you can make. And we also give you an indication of whether or not we can uh, consider raising your rate limits per an organization. The ones that are marked as false are those are just hard rate limits. We cannot uh, not raise them at this point. Now, the third document, if you're interested, and I really ask people to look at this, is everything we've talked about at this point is 300 calls per minute on an OAuth client. But what happens if you make a boatload of calls during the month? Well, based on your license, we implement a fair use API on demand charges. And this really defines, if you go out to our help.mypurecloud and search for fair use, this defines the num total number of API calls you can make uh, per month before you start doing an overage um, uh, on those and getting charged per API call. Now, uh, I ask people to look at this. Most people are never going to hit this, but if you think you have a particular API call where your volumes are really, really high, I recommend you open up a ticket with our care organization or talk to your TAM to kind of walk through and really kind of let's figure out if you're using our API correctly. Because again, our rate limits are all about being hygienic and signaling that uh, something is going on. So that's all I got for this introductory video. The next two videos are going to cover how to use our built-in Java SDK rate limit uh, cap or retry capabilities. And then the second video is to just talk about how you can use caching to cut down on the number of API calls that you make. Thanks, everybody, for watching this introductory video. If you have uh, comments or feedback, we always welcome them. Please post on the videos or post out in the forums, even if it's a topic that you'd like to see. So everybody have a great day. And uh, thanks again. And I hope to hear from you.